coming in as a first time first time job even I didn't I didn't know the right questions to ask and I was certainly very shy and nervous and, and didn't want to ask the questions. I think a lot of the time young workers just go into it too quickly. And they don't realize what they might be getting into, what they really need to know before they start working. Don't for a moment think that these incidents occur only to young men. Young females are also susceptible to workplace injuries. Here's what happened to Isabel. It happened in a food processing plant. There was a lot of water on the floor. The place was very slippery. As I was walking, I slipped and fell. My head hit the concrete very hard. I suffered a concussion. I became violently ill. They called for an ambulance and I was rushed to the hospital. I was treated by a few doctors for head and neck injury. Afterward, I suffered severe migraine and have some memory loss. Never had migraine before and it completely disrupted my school study. It's very difficult to study and concentrate when you have severe migraine and headache. Let's look at WIMIS for a minute. WIMIS stands for the Workplace Hazardous Material Information System. It can save lives. WIMIS gives you the facts you need to know about chemicals in your workplace. If only young Sean Kells had that training. Here's what his father said. This is Sean. 19 years old, actually just turned 20 on April the 26th. Uh, Sean is a uh, fairly normal guy, kind of a big guy, an athlete, six foot four, 200 pounds. You get a sense, uh, I think, and, and most of you will understand this, that when, when we're talking about kids who are 18 or 19 uh, years of age, 14, 15, uh, everyone in that age group thinks they're invincible. And if there was anyone uh, who had a proper claim to that kind of uh, thing was a big, healthy, strapping guy like this. On November 18th, this is what happened to Sean. He was pouring a, a chemical from a vat that didn't have a label on it, pouring a thing just from a big drum into a small can, no labels on it to indicate it was hazardous material, static electricity, from a spark just by touching the drum, set off a huge explosion. Sean was engulfed in flames, burns to 95% of his body, the worst burns case Wellesley Burns Unit said they'd ever had. He managed to live for, he managed to live for uh, 24 hours. And you should know that Sean is my son. You've had a chance to hear from some whose lives are forever changed all because of something that happened on the job. You've learned about your rights and responsibilities and how best to protect yourself while at work. Now it's up to you to use that knowledge to ask the right questions, insist on the right answers. No job is worth losing an arm, a leg, your eyesight, or your life. Remember to work smart, work safe.